All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakorashi, double honor to the apostles, the great millstone, and shout to verse doing this thing in sincerity and truth, done with charity. All right, Yahweh's name, Heavenly Father, Bahasham is in the name, Ba'in, Hadda, Sham name. Yahweh Shai's name, only begotten Son, you know, which means he delivers, as Matthew 1 21 tells us, he shall save his people. All right, Rakha Kodash means Holy Spirit, literally translated Spirit Holy, Rakha Spirit Kodash Holy. I'm gonna hop right into it, man. Um, I listened to this, the uh, that, um, Jennifer Huston song, the old one. The remake, really, I believe it was a remake. She didn't make the damn song. Dream Girls. Um, I forget the name of it. I'm not going anywhere song. And that's, you know, that's the spirit we need to be in, you know. That's what really, you know, uh, spark the idea of this lesson, like, for real, whatever we got to deal with, man, you know, we going to just deal with it, we, ain't no, ain't no switching sides, man, we for the Lord, and that's, that's what we got to be, we got to be fully persuaded, all right, we have to be persuaded in our own minds, you know, this is, um, uh, Salaki. It's Romans 14 and 5. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So we have to be fully persuaded, man. Like it said um, in Joshua. But we got, got a true day. This is Joshua uh, 24. And 14. Now therefore fear Yahweh and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood. And in Egypt, and serve you the Lord. If it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. We got to be fully persuaded that, hey, whatever comes our way, we're not going to flee. We're not going to flee away from the fear of the Lord from serving you. How about show me how I shy? You know, nah, this is what we must do, man. Whether the gods which your father served are on the side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in, those, in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. All right. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. So that's the mindset we got to be. It ain't no forsaking the Lord because time gets hard or we go through this and we go through that. Nah, man. Hey, what did Job say? I believe it was the fourth chapter. Job 2. Nah, good, I looked it up. It's Job 2. And it starts at the point 10. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one. I'm starting at 9. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the most high and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What shall receive good at the hand of the most high? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. So whether it's the good times or the bad times, and we, we serve you how about show me how shy. Point blank, period. Alright? That's the mindset we gotta have, whether especially when this time comes, when you saw come with this chip, all this 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 shit that's happening, man. Look, we gonna serve you how about show me how shy, man. Alright? Whatever comes our way, man. That's our that's our whole duty. For the Lord to keep his commandments. Ain't, ain't no fleeing from it. Ain't no strength from that, man. So whatever we gotta do, we hey, we're gonna deal with it, man. We ain't we know one thing, we're not gonna stop serving the Lord, man. That's madness. This Sirach Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. Cleave unto him. And that and when you listen to that song, you know, that's what the whole song has been cleaving. Like literally, I just rather die. That's what Job was even saying. Like shit, he wasn't finna turn away from the Lord. He like shit, just kill me then. If the Lord is against me like this, I can't swallow my spit. I'm going through all this hell. Just shit, kill me. It's better I was never born. But Job never spoke and said well fuck it then let me just go against the lord hell no hell no man 
Ain't no turning away from the Heavenly Father. We'd rather go out on, on we rather go out on the sword than to turn away from the Heavenly Father, man. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So with the ups and the downs, we're gonna have to ride that wave, man. All right, point blank, period. Especially considering, you know, like I said, at the end we're going to be increased, man. It's not like the Lord is putting hell on us for no reason. For when we earned it, because we sinned, you know. And also, hey, there's a, a, a reward at the end of this thing, man. Yeah, we in chains and bonds right now to wisdom, but that turns into a robe of glory, man. It's a rock six. And 20, 23. Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel, and put thy feet into her fetters, the her's wisdom, start up, and thy neck into her chain. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her, and be not grieved with her bonds. This is what we got to deal with, man. We in bonds, right? But don't be grieved with it, man. It's just what shit we gotta deal with. We in fucking hell. We fucked up, but we understand the end of all this, man. So the Lord, He ain't just leave us hanging. All right, come unto her with thy whole heart, and keep her ways with all thy power. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. Let her not go. Ain't no letting this wisdom go, man. Like the like Peter said, man. Let me get it real quick. This is St. John 6. I'm going to start up. 6 and uh, 67. Then said Yahweh shine to the 12. Will he also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art that Messiah. Because we avoid that C word. That's an idol. All right. It's supposed to mean anointed. It goes back to the Hebrew word Mashiach, which is where the word Messiah comes from. And we believe and are sure that thou art that Messiah, the son of the living power. All right? So we believe that, man. Ain't no letting go, man. For one, letting go only brings destruction. <laughs> Point blank, period. It's a guaranteed destruction. All right? Ain't no hope in letting go, God damn it. All right? But outside of that, man, we, we want this eternal life. What what does I say in the song? You the best man I ever know, right? Ain't no ain't no turning back. There's no way <laughs> I ever let go, man, through the spirit, man. To hell this place, to hell this flesh, man. We need the Lord, man, cause we in fucking hell. We need our deliverer, man. It only makes sense to cleave unto the heavenly Father, man. We're in a sad case. This back in Sirach six. At 28. For at the last thou shalt find her rest, and that shall be turned to thy joy. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of glory. For there was a golden ornament upon her, and her bands are purple lace. Thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor, and shalt put her about thee as a crown of joy. Because look, the, ultimately when you, when you think about the the... the, the the account of Job, right? You think about the account of Job. The Lord sent, essentially, sent Satan on Job to prove him, because a man loves nothing more than a woman that don't leave no matter what. It says, "Prove a friend." All right, the scripture say, "Prove a friend, man." All right, somebody that stick by your side through the ups and the downs. That's that's real right there. That's called a trial. So if that's how we feel, imagine how much more the Lord feel. So he went, hey, he tried his servants out, man. His woman, his faithful servant. To see, hey, who, are, you, are you really in my corner or not? So with, with, once that is figured out, oh, uh, this one is really down for me. The world, the world, like they say, the world is your oyster. I don't know what the why they say that shit. But 
there's nothing that won't be given to us, man. Look what the Lord did to Job after he endured that, man. And the same thing we're fighting for, man. We ain't letting go. Hey, we like, we like Jacob, man. We want our blessing. Shit, that's the that's the, the the lineage we come from, man. A lineage of men that fought a a man that fought angels, that fought an angel, Salakia, that fought an angel till he got his blessing. His hip was all out of joint. He still ain't let go, man. We ain't got that let go spirit in us, man. Now we love our our power, man. Cause he first loved us. He called us to be Israelites. Gave us his truth. Ain't no fucking letting go, man. Shit get tough. Hey, we in hell because we sin, man. Now to get the salvation, we got to go through the fucking the hardships, man. And you better believe it's worth it. All hell finna break loose soon, man. And we have the chance to be able to receive mercies in these days coming up. Famine is coming. Great death is coming. Destruction. So all we got to do is prove ourselves to be good wives to the Lord, man. A woman that won't vacate when shit gets down and out, man. When shit gets down and bad, my bad. We can't be like the foolish woman. Like Joel told this woman. We, ain't, we can't be like the foolish woman, man. Alright? How those women was in the book of Jeremiah. They scoffed the prophet Jeremiah. Now they gonna serve the queen of heaven. Because when they come serve the Lord, they gotta go through some shit, man. But when they serve the queen of heaven, they have what, whatever their hearts desire. But they got destroyed after that, man. So it seemed good. It's like adultery. A bitch see a nigga with a raw ass cop. Oh, wow. She had played a whore, you know, trying to get it to come up. But that adultery comes with a judgment. You better believe the Lord sees that, man. A whore is spittle. A wife is a strong tower, man. We're going we gonna to be that wife to the Lord, man. This James 5. It's a lot here. Yeah, James 5 and um, 10. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering affliction. And of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and tender mercy. And as we're hoping for, we're hoping for that tender mercy, man. We go through whatever we got to deal with right now. We just hope the Lord, hey, blesses us with that mercy, man. Whatever pain we feel, hey, Joe, uh, uh, so like Jacob, uh, Joint was out of socket, man. But he didn't let that pain make him let go. That's how hard we got to fight it and wrestle for the Lord, man. Can't let the pain take us out of this, man. This is this, this is it right here. Ain't nowhere else to go. And if you feel as if there's somewhere else to go, shit, that's the issue. Shit. This is, I'm ending on this, man. It's Hebrews 10. And 38. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. We are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Hope is edifying, all praises and glory to the how about Shami, how shot by Shaman Kakarash, level honest of the apostle, that was a great millstone. And Southage Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity shall a one while Baba Ball.